Summer is here, which means it's time once again to talk about what anime that's got my attention and which ones I'm going to read about on Twitter later. So a couple of shows I really can't wait to dive into and gush about. The rest, it's a toss up. One that I'm really excited for is Sunny Boy. Not crazy about Isekai or any anime about high schoolers in any capacity, but it looks really gorgeous. It's about mystery, powers, and trying to survive. That always piques my curiosity. Everyone's on Twitter is talking about Keep Your Eye Out for this one. It's going to be a banger, so I feel like it might be one of the series that defines the summer. And on the bright side, you can watch it on Hulu or Funimation. It's always a good thing because I love using Hulu to watch anime. Or Netflix always makes my day. Because as we all know, Foodie grabs all the good shows that I want to watch. And I'm like, dang, bro. To make a new account just to watch it or what's my options? So yeah, keep you guys updated with some tweets and maybe a follow-up video later in this season. But we'll see. But one that I've been keeping my eye out for is The Detective is Already Dead. I don't know much about it except for the true crime anime with superpowers and cute girls. And we already know The Detective is Already Dead. So there we go. Have your hopes for this series. It's going to be a dark horse, hopefully, but we'll see. Normally, you know, anime based on light novel, it's really hit or miss. However, you have to read the light novel because there's a lot of cut content that you don't know about to watch the anime, which promotes the light novel or manga. So it works out. Or they can streamline it so you get the gist of what happens. And then at a later time, you can or can't pick up the light novel. It just depends on what you want. If you're satisfied with what you get, you don't have to. So I can see this series being very popular and hopefully gets more attention because of the anime adaptation. One of those series I hope that we can all say, I'm so glad we gave it a try. Because you already know it goes with light novel adaptations. We're getting so much with each passing year and each passing season, but that means it's new series people to discover that they would never know about on their own. Maybe it's on Booklogger? Maybe, but we'll see. Remain, it's an original anime about polo, water polo to be exact. And I love sports anime. It's one of my favorite things of all time. I'm trying to keep high hopes for it. I've not seen anyone talk about it on Twitter, on my feed at least, or seen it on any list like, hey, this is the one you gotta watch, but maybe I'm missing these conversations because that's how Twitter works. You don't always see everything. This is my most anticipated show because sports anime give me that feeling where those impactful moments are gonna happen and you can learn a lot about life, surprisingly. I don't know anything about water polo, but that's what I like about sports anime. If you don't know anything about the sport, you watch the show and learn about this boy, maybe give it a try, or at least be more interested in watching it. And it's original, so yes, I'm all for the original anime. We need more of that because I get it. Adaptation makes it easier, but we always need at least one or two original anime to show us that there's still creative things out there and stories that need to be told. So yeah, I like seeing, you know, sports anime as well because it shows you that you enjoy things outside of your normal life in interest. So I expect powerful moments, rivalries, and to learn more about what makes water polo a fun sport to play or why people can be crazy about it. Kageki Shoujo, my, my personal favorite this season. I love anime about acting and theater tropes. It's just something about it. It's just a really cool experience. So the whole point is apparently a girl with big dreams wants to land a role that's mostly for men and her former auto roommate wants to help her you know, enter an all-girl theater troupe. So it might be one of those stories of, you know, two girls being on accident, but we're seeing it during to the top and how they're going to change a whole group, like a theater troupe, for better or worse. And feel these shows is about, you know, the passion and drive can really show people that impossible is just a word unless you make things impossible. So hopefully we get to see an amazing story unfold before our very eyes. And it could be that one anime I can tell everybody, yo, this is why you have to watch more slice of life music themed shows because a lot of people say they don't like any shows about acting or theater tropes because why we watch anime about it you just watch you know sitcoms about it or just american shows about it but the whole point is it's like anime is already dramatic so there's gonna be dramatic in an appropriate setting that's the way i see it at least and they mentioned for some reason the main character she's 510 i think that's where it matters because it sounds like it's really tall if she's a japanese girl you know because they're not normally that tall, maybe five, two, five, three. Will make more sense, but hey, I'm excited. Keep in mind, I'm not seeing anything besides the trailer for the show because I want to spoil myself because we all know how it goes. Every anime season, if you're not careful, you'll know the whole plot and everything that happens in the shows you plan to watch. And I like to go into shows when I go in not knowing much, I can like really experience it. Yes, with some shows, it's good to know if it has 
bad pacing, fast slow moments, if it's cringy, but sometimes when going blind and just see what's up. And Love Live is back with Love Live Superstar. This might be the best one in the entire franchise because it has the most unique premise. So essentially, with Love Live, it's basically like High School Musical, the anime, where it's about you know high school girls achieving their dreams of being idols. And normally the way it works, the upperclassmen, they try to be idols. And then we have a couple girls who have experience, but then they quit for some reason. And then the freshmen, they're the ones that reinvigorate the club. That's how it normally works in Love Live. But this time, it's about five freshmen at a school with no history, reputation, or upperclassmen. So they're really starting from the bottom. And I'm super excited because the trailer looks super impressive. It's like, doesn't look like Love Live, you didn't know any better. And we're finally getting a serious focus on freshmen who have to start from zero. Because what I like about Love Live is you can just watch any one of them because they're not really connected besides Sunshine, the original, but they're barely connected. I like about the whole franchise as a whole, it shows you that you can enjoy something that's predictable and niche. Even if you say, oh, there's cliche. What's wrong with cliches? If they're done well, ain't no problem. So yeah, if you watch the original, you see why people like it so much, how it got so popular. It's amazing, the music, and with each iteration, you see it gets better and better in terms of animation, in terms of music, and it's just amazing. And every group is so talented and interesting in their own way. No group is like the last one. And that's what I like about so much. So you may like one group, we don't like another group, and then really like another group. That's just how it works. And because we're having like, what, four generations worth of girls now, come on now, no people for everybody. The core theme of Love Live is chasing your dreams and passions even if you failed before or don't think you'll get lucky enough. So I recommend if you want to get into idol anime, keep out for this one, because like I said before, good thing about Love Live, not really directly connected. So you don't have to watch the original to watch Sunshine or enjoy Nijisaki. So yeah, so it can easily be a gateway for people that want to understand the beauty of idol anime. And that's what I always dreamed of because we have something like Saga, of course, but we also need something else where it's like, oh, it's something everyone kind of knows, but you know, it can be a good gateway. That's what I'm trying to say. So I know your guys thoughts on Love Live, the franchise or this new installment. Do you have high hopes for it? Or you're just like, well, not Love Live fan, but it's cool. It's, it's whatever. So honestly, the reason I'm excited for this one, and I really want to watch it, it's just something about Love Live, it just hits. I'm not the biggest fan of auto anime, but Love Live showed me that auto anime is like the most relatable genre of anime to me. It's about chasing your dreams. Even when things get hard and you can just walk away or quit or just do the easy thing, stick to the, the tried and true path. So I think that's why for me, Love Live's that one show, I always look back on like, wow, this show right here, it really made me want to keep making videos because it's my passion. I always want to share my experience, especially on my favorite medium, you know, anime, manga, webtoon. So yeah, shout out to Love Live. But yeah, that's gonna be the one that might be my favorite of all time. I found this one anime that really sums up adult life for me. It's basically adult life sucks, but you have to make it work for you, the anime. Udamichi Onisan. It's about a middle-aged man, like 31, and he works on the kids TV show where he mentions how lame and dream adult life is nonchalantly and just he's worked with kids and his co-workers are also fine for their lives to make their turbulent and depressing lifestyle somewhat satisfying initially they want to watch this because they're like what's the point it just looks like weird but from seeing it on tiktok and reading a little bit of the manga i see the appeal of this series it's the most relatable yet dramatic thing i've ever seen in my entire life as we all know being some, as we all know, being 20 something, it's it's weird. It's like, you're supposed to have your life together, but if you don't, you feel like you messed up somehow. Or if you do everything supposed to do, go to college, you know, choose a major that's like solidified in the workforce, and you still flop, you think you messed up. Or if you, you know, go your passionate route and you have the talent and you did not, you know, succeed past a certain age, like 25 or 27, you're like, damn, where did I mess up? And as you go on, you realize people are in your same boat where it's like they did everything right and they still flopping. So I like about this series. It reminds me of those facts, how adult life's hard for everybody. And no matter how you look at it, I feel like you're fighting uphill battle, but you don't have the stamina. 
And every time you think, damn, it can't get worse, it gets worse. But there's always somebody in the same boat as you or sinking. So hopefully you can find, you know, things to make your mundane, predictable, and rational life fun. And the cool thing about this series is I like how they blend it. It's kind of ironic because when you think of children, we think about innocence, youth, and how when you're a kid, you don't know a lot of stuff. And that's the fun thing. You don't know anything. But as you get older, you realize, damn, I don't know a lot still. But because I'm older, I got responsibilities. I can't afford to mess up. And that's what's cool about this show. We're seeing people who are 20 something and older try to survive in this doggy dog world and realize that that's how it works. Even if you do everything right, that's not enough. Even if you think you could do better, you don't really know. And you're kind of forced to like make some type of pattern because if you don't, you'll be just like free falling. Cause you don't be free falling all the time. But even if you have some security net, even that's not guaranteed to last forever. It can easily break down because something happened. Maybe your parent got sick, your wife left you, your husband did something to mess up your finances. That's all pillars show. It's reminding you that that's what makes adult life complicated. It's like the most erratic thing ever. There's no real patterns. There's no guidebook. You just kind of deal with it and then hope everything works out. And I like that contrast because it's like, you know, you see a guy like, hey kids, life is amazing. <laughs> Honorable mention, this one I saw a little bit of on YouTube. I had my eye on it, but who knows how it plays out. It's basically called, hopefully I can say this right, the out of 10 deities only know peace. So basically, God, <laughs> gods appear when humanity was on the verge of destruction due to the work of demons. And deities called out of 10 fought and sealed away demons 800 years ago. Nowadays, they don't have any fighting experience of peaceful lives. But when demons were reviving, it begins the battle between gods, humans, and demons. So yeah, it's a really cool concept. I almost forgot that it was dropping. It's not out yet, but it's coming soon. At the time of recording, it's coming out in three days from now. Like, almost four days from now. So... It looks cool. It has a manga that's releasing. So I'm really looking forward to it. It has a very colorful art style. I remember the first time I saw it on Android, I was like, wow, this is interesting. I got to keep my eye on for this. So if you haven't already peeped the trailer, it's going to have 11 episodes. It's going to happen July 23rd. So yeah, it's going to be phenomenal. It might be the one show that we all got to watch. So yeah, because it's going to be a Senin. It's going to have war, nudity. Demons, gods, sound like a fire good time. So yeah, a couple more interesting series that I missed. But we'll see in the coming weeks what series is worth everyone's attention and what series will be the Dark Horses and what series we're just gonna remember and then forget purposefully because there's so much anime going on that it's hard to keep up. But that's kind of the point. And there you have it. The anime manager catch my attention this summer. And hopefully, we'll keep you entertained during this hot human season. 